Привет. Как дела? No. Polish is not similar to Russian. No, it's not. Hi, my name is Michalina and today I'm going to show you three things that you should never ever say to a Pole. The first one, Polish is similar to Russian. Indeed, these two languages do belong to the same group of languages, which are Slavic languages, but they do belong to two completely different branches, meaning that Polish is more similar to Czech and Russian is more similar to Ukrainian. And no, we Poles do not understand Russian unless we learned it at school, which is, for example, which was the case, for example, for my parents. But not me, so I don't really understand Russian. Not a word. Apart from what I've just presented to you. Thank you, Alina, for that. But that very point also leads me to another thing that you should never ever say to a Pole, which is Poland is Eastern Europe. Geographically speaking, if you took a look at the map, you would see that it's actually in the very middle, which makes Poland Central Europe. When it comes to history and culture, Again, I think that we are still between the West and the East. Poland has made an enormous progress in the past 20, 30 years. So if you say to a Pole that Poland is Eastern Europe, as if you didn't acknowledge all that has changed uh, in all those years, and I'm not really talking about infrastructure or economic system only. I'm also talking about our mindset. And Poles do take pride in this progress and development, and very rightly so. If you want to read something more about Poland being Central or Eastern Europe, I'll link you the article below. Also, there is a brief animated um, history of Poland. I'll also link you um, this video in the description below. And now we are left with a point number three, Polish concentration camps. A couple of years back, and yes, indeed, I googled that, it was in 2012, Barack Obama visited Poland and he mentioned Polish concentration camps. And that, I still remember, sparkled a very heated discussion. Because you see, unfortunately, online you're also going to find articles about Polish concentration camps. These camps were created by Nazis. They were located on Polish soil because we were occupied then. But it doesn't make them Polish. Um, unfortunately, I think for simplification reasons, which I don't still think should be the case, uh, people refer to them sometimes at least as Polish concentration camps. And so be very mindful about it whenever you are in Poland as a tourist or you want to settle in here and you go and visit, for example, Auschwitz then be very mindful about that when you talk with the Poles about that. It's a kind of sensitive topic and the way you choose your words is also important. On that note, if you're interested in actually visiting, for example, Auschwitz, so I do recommend um, that you do that with a guide. I did that twice and I think um, the people who work there have enormous knowledge and not only can they actually tell you um, something about history and what happened, they are also more than keen on answering all of your questions, which I usually have a lot, so thank you for your patience. And um, so just for you to know, if you ever go there, I think it's, it's better to take a guide. Oh my god, it got me into the mood actually and telling you to subscribe sounds off because I do, for example, personally understand that some people may think that Polish is similar to Russian. Not everyone has to know the difference, especially when you've never traveled to this part of the world. You may not know, but I think the way you approach certain topics matters. And whenever you make it very clear for the person with whom you're talking that you've never heard that before or you've got no prior knowledge and 
that you that and that whatever you ask them is just out of sheer curiosity it it just leaves a completely different impression and above all it doesn't lead to any misunderstandings that we actually want to avoid because asking questions or raising difficult topics is okay it's just a matter of how you do it so if you have any other questions about topics that you raised at some point and were not really uh, clearly discussed also do let me know in in the comment section below and that very thing leads me to a question to you if you would be up for a live chat i did organize one on my instagram account and thank you very much uh, for everyone who actually participated and i genuinely enjoyed our conversation it was very lovely to hear your points of view on certain stereotypes that are out there about poles so um i would like to organize um, also a chat but on youtube this time so that i reach wider audience so if you want for it also let me know in a comment down in the comment section below and now indeed I see you soon bye